Which way? Yeah! Not that way. Back off. Oh, I'm starting to want you to make me. Yeah. Big man in a suit of armor. Take that off. What are you? Thank you for your cooperation. Good night. I'll buy that for a dollar. <laughs> justice is lost. Justice is right. Justice is yours. Hey, what's up, nerds? Got the brand new A box in front of me. This time the theme is justice. And I'm pretty excited to open this one because so far I've been happy with every single A box I've gotten. They cost around 30 bucks. And I feel that it's been a decent deal every time. If you're interested, go to a-box.com to get the exact details and check out some of the past boxes and all that good stuff. All right, enough talking, let's see what we got. So we got a shirt, Q-Fig, some socks, and a few more goodies. All right, I'm gonna open this stuff individually so you can get a good look at it. And I'll let you know my opinion on each item. As I was pulling the items out of the box, this really caught my eye. Not just because it's a cool looking Captain America keychain, but it's a found me. So what you can do with this is put it on your keys, right? And you download the app and say you can't find your phone. You click on Captain America's shield and your phone will ring, which is really awesome. Or you can just put this on your like keys or anything, really. You can put this on anything, and then you can track it with your phone. So, like, say you want to put it on your dog. Or, like, say you got a teenage daughter or a teenage son, and <laughs> you feel like they're lying to you about where they're going. You can hide this in their car, you know, without them knowing, and track their address on your phone. I mean, that's kind of messed up. It's a little Big Brother-ish. Don't do that. But if you wanted to do that, you could. So this is kind of a cool item. Never expected to get something like this. You know, it comes with the battery and everything and a little key ring, which is pretty cool. But yeah, you can uh, pretty much use this to track anything. And that's pretty awesome. For those of you that watch my videos a lot, you know that I like getting socks and boxes because I like wearing goofy socks. But I gotta say that these are some of my favorite ones because look how good the Punisher skull came out, and I like the striping on the bottom, so, you know, you go to somebody's house where you gotta take your shoes off. These look kinda cool on the bottom, um, and they feel like they're super high quality. Let me take them out to really get a nice feel for them. And yeah, these socks feel really nice, and they feel thick and comfortable. These actually kinda remind me of other socks that I have purchased that are around 10 to 12 bucks a piece. They do feel like they're of that quality. And yeah, they're just really nice looking. I do like the striping on the bottom. Because, you know, you go to somebody's house, got to take your shoes off. You don't want to have some dingy socks with, like, holes in them. And these do look pretty nice. And it appears that the skull keeps its integrity pretty well. Because you know how sometimes you put socks on, they stretch out a little bit, and the design doesn't look as good? But that seems like it's going to look pretty good around your calf. Yeah, pretty happy with this item. Really nice, high quality item. We also get a pair of Wonder Woman earphones. And these are supposed to be the bonus item. And honestly, when I think bonus item, I think about a sheet of stickers, a patch, a pen, or something like that. Um, definitely not earbuds. And they look really cool. They're the Wonder Woman colors. Or like, you know... <laughs> I'm probably going to give this to a friend of mine that's a 49er fan. And I think she'll really like the fact that these are the gold and red. Um, and they're also Wonder Woman. But yeah, for a bonus item, this is pretty cool. They added another Q-Fig. And it's another really cool one. This one's from the actual Justice League movie. And it's Wonder Woman with her lasso of truth. And I think Q-Figs have really improved a lot lately. Even the packaging. I'm going to take it out because these usually have a lot of great detail with really great paint jobs. So I want to take a look at it up close. Yeah, 
And here she is. And I'm really liking how dynamic her pose looks. It just conveys action with her hair blowing. That stance. It just looks like she dodged a couple of bullets and is about to unleash some fury. Really like the way they do her eyes. And those metallic paints are all done really nice. I only see one tiny little paint flaw right here. It looks like some of the skin color got on the hair there. But that's easily touched up by a sketchy. Or a sharpie, I mean. I like the metallic red on her boots as well. And the base has like some desert rocks on there and sand. Looks really, really cool. The only thing that would make this better is if this rope glowed in the dark. But other than that, this is a very excellent figure. And I'm happy to add this to my Q-Fig collection. And lastly, we get a shirt which feels really nice quality. And the actual decal on it doesn't feel rough and hard like some of these uh, larger decals do on shirts. I hate that. But this one feels kind of soft. And it's really nice looking. And it says, your move creep. I think that's from Robocop 1 when he shoots those guys assaulting that woman. Where he shoots them through the dress and hits them in his uh, balls. I think that's when he says it. It's pretty cool. I wish it wouldn't say anything. I wish it was just Robocop. That would make this shirt perfect. Because it would make it look kind of like nostalgic. Like a shirt that's actually from the 80s. Just Robocop on there. But it is still pretty cool and it feels really nice quality. Alright, so that was a November A-Box Justice. And honestly, this is all killer and no filler. This is one of those rare times where I like every single item in the box. The Wonder Woman Q-Fig looks great. I even like how they added a desert backdrop inside of the box. So if you want to leave her inside, she has that background that matches her base. The headphones are a great item. That's going to make my friend very happy. I really love those socks. I'm probably going to wear them tomorrow. The shirt is printed well. It feels comfortable. And surprisingly, the Captain America Found Me is my favorite item in the box. I like how it looks. I like how useful it is. I'm probably going to end up putting that inside of my work bag, where I keep a work iPad, my work phone, all my work keys, and a bunch of very important papers. Because if I lost that, it would be a very big deal. So to me, that's incredibly useful. And of course, I like that it's Captain America. So yeah, that's my favorite item this time. Followed by the socks and the Q-Fig, they're tied for second place. And the headphones and shirt are tied for third. On a scale from 1 to 10, I'm going to give the November A-Box a 9.5. It's near perfect. I just could have done without the quote and the logo on the shirt. Or else it would have been a 10. It's an excellent value for your money. And I can't imagine anybody being disappointed with this box. Alright guys, let me know in the comments below what you think about this box, what your favorite item was, whether you're going to get next month's box, which is Unleashed, that'll have a Star Wars item, a Jumanji item, and a Pinky in the Brain item, and also an extra special long sleeve shirt. Pretty excited about that box as well. Thanks for watching and take it easy.